What's up, you cowards? Welcome back. We're about to get fucked up in this world. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Alright, so now we need to go to the marketplace, if I remember correctly, from last episode. Yeah, these are all, like, crafters and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck here at, like, um, what are my crafters even? I think, like, level 20-something is, like, my highest. Okay, there's an either a shard right there, which I'll go get after. There are so many people here. I'm gonna be lagging a lot, probably. Big oof. News of the city, friend! The spinning head and white eyes give you away. Yeah. Welcome. My name is Bragi, and I'm the master of these markets. They gave the district another official title, but I'm not in the habit of using it. Too floored by half. In any case, a merchant stock a range of equipment from mistles such as yourself. For, for mistles such as yourself. So finding something in your size shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 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 I'm actually... Makote... Hmm. Must be a dialect I'm not familiar with. Let's see if we can straighten this out. See those two in front of us? The shorter one is a Hume. Uh, here? And the taller one is an elf. An, an elephant? <laughs> oh my god. The sturdy individual over there is a galgent, whilst the one with the horns is a drawn. And then you have the large scaly chaps with the long tails and knack for raising livestock. Those would be the zoon. Oh, okay. Which is apparently not the name you know them by. Now I'm curious to know which far-flung region you hail from. Ah, the same as the Exarch, huh? Well, that explains it. Oh my god. Uh, you don't get much further flung than that. We've had a few of your lot pass through in recent years, and despite their obvious learning, they're, <laughs> they floundered over the simplest things. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. The recent years? Wait, how long? But not to worry, should you find yourself confused by the, by the local language or customs, I'll be here to answer your questions. My god. Your exchange with Braggy has taught you about the people of the first. Oh my lord. Okay. Now we need to find the crystal exarch. Okay. Before I do that, though. I'm gonna yeet myself real quick over to the Aethernet. So I don't forget- oh, there's two? Wait a second. Is that upstairs or, or downstairs? That's what I want to know. That's oh, right there, okay. The Quadrivium? What? Oh, I missed this one. Dang it. So he is gonna be by the docile gate. Okay. Oh, you can't write- you can't write mounts in here. Aw, oh, man. Okay, hold on. I've gotten this one. And then these two. I haven't gotten this one. And then we're gonna get this one. I 
There he is! The boy. The mad lad. Hold on, Mr. XR, don't mind me. I just I just need to get the other Nash shard real quick. Well, how did you fare? Did my colleagues help you form a clearer picture of this world and its people? Yeah. Wait! Wait, 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 hold on, what What are these? Wait, did we write these down? Wait. Yes, it seems you were treated to a most thorough introduction. I understand it was something of a chore, but it was necessary that you grasp these things before we proceed. As for the Crystal Tower's origin, you may have noted the details were sparse. The structure is in fact the self-same one you know from the source, transported to the verse in its entirety. It was my first attempt at breaching the boundaries between worlds, something of a trial run for your eventual crossing. And although I do not know from which era I tore it from, I do know that its arrival served to set the wheels of fate in motion. He just yanked it out of the sky. I mean, from somewhere. Alright, travelers of Norvin. Norvrant? Norvrant? Whatever. You've done as I requested and learned something of the world in which you find yourself. Now it's time I fulfilled my half of the bargain and explained wh uh, what has befallen your comrades. That is a conversation I would rather have in the privacy of my quarters, however. I must go on ahead to the tower and organize a few things, but I shall see that the guard knows to admit you. Oh! Do I say? Oh no, do I say it? Also, why is this dialogue box different? Because isn't it usually... Well, no, are those are those cutscene dialogues? Or am I just... Or am I going crazy? Um, oh my god, I don't know what to say. Let's see, so... The tower- the tower's gate lies- Oh, I cannot read, I am sorry. Uh, the, the tower's gate lies open then? Or, just like that, then Grahatia is- Oh my god, why did they do that to us like that, huh? Why they gotta hurt us like that? Now I'm sad. I guess... Oh my... I really wanted to say it though. Heck it. Oh no, I forgot to read it out. Whoops! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I am not familiar with that name. Is there something I should know? An extraordinary tale, but I'm afraid I found no such individual residing in the tower when it passed into my care. Mayhap we can revisit that mystery another time. For now, I think it best that we focus on the present. No! Kratia! No! He wasn't! My baby! Is it upstairs? I'm going. I'm going to find if I can get this. Because this is the last one I need. Come on, Mama Sheba. Just you and me. Let's get this fucking Ethernet shard. Myself off this tower after. There it is. Let me eat.
this is such a nice city. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. It... Greetings, sir. The Exarch awaits you within. Yes! Enter the Crystal Tower! Yo! <gasps> that looks so cool! What the fuck? This is so beautiful, I'm gonna cry. This is like all my aesthetics in one. Crystals, space. Welcome to the Ocula, my private study. We can speak here without fear of being overheard. I have much to explain, but the truths which I must touch upon in doing so would cause only distress and confusion to the people of this world. Pray keep that in mind. All right. Now, I am sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow scions. Yeah. To put it simply, they are here in the first. Oh, thank God. Their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. Here, time flows at a different pace from that of the source. Oh. In the space of a single hour in your home world, an entire year might pass in the first. And the reverse could also be true. The pace fluctuates without rhyme or reason, and it cannot be predicted. That said, we seem to be entering a period of near equivalence. And thus, for the moment, you need not overly concern yourself with the passage of time. As for your companions, however, Yustola and Urianger have dwelt here for three winters, all told. While Thancred's count stands at five. Oh, Jesus. Even our more recent arrivals, Alphino and Alize, have lived in the first for almost a year. My intention had been to summon only you, but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult to master. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most closely bound as well. As they were not the object. Why are they doing it? Their transference was incomplete. Though they may appear to possess corporeal bodies, they are, in truth, merely spirits that one can see and touch. Consequently, while you yourself will be able to pass between worlds with relative freedom, they will not. Much as it grieves me, they are stranded here, unable to return. Wait! What? and find a way to send them back? What have they been doing all this time, then? We spent every waking hour searching for a way to reverse the summoning. In the beginning, at least. As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. And then we all but abandoned the endeavor once Urianger shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his journey through the rift. Uh -huh. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. What Urianger saw was the future, that which would one day come to pass. And what is this future? In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined with the source. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Oh my god, what? Amongst those who perished, Urianger clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. What? And thus did the Scions embrace their exile, and began searching this world for a means to forestall the coming catastrophe in yours. Their souls are stranded in the first, yes, but they have fought on, desperate to save their home and you from destruction. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. Holy shit, it's only been the second episode and I'm already in, like close to tears. Nor have their efforts been in vain, for it was they who finally established that the elimination of the Sin Eaters will indeed serve to prevent the calamity. 
Considering these circumstances of our meeting, you would be forgiven for doubting my version of events. And so, before all else, I would suggest you track down your comrades and hear the tale from their lips. I shall of course be happy to assist in these reunions, and you need not make any decisions regarding your involvement until you are certain of where you stand. Alright. But wait! If they're stuck here- So they're stuck here forever? Like there's no way to send them back whatsoever? Because I I'd rather not, you know? Like if they're stuck here, then I'll stay here. Because I don't want to go back, you know, by myself, alone. As dumb as that sounds, I'd rather not. Meanwhile, I promise I will not rest until I have found a way to help your friends return home. Alright, that that's good. What say you? Have I earned your trust for the moment, at least? Um, what will you say for the moment? I, but I'll see you keep that promise, or for want of a better choice. For the moment, I do trust you. Excellent. You will not regret this. With that settled, we shall have to see about getting you ready for the road. Traveling across the rift has no doubt left you weary. I will arrange for a room where you might rest in comfort. While it's being prepared, perhaps I can show you around. Sure, that sounds great. Send my friends back! Send them back home. I have a can of soda right here, so if you hear anything, that's just... That's me doing... Wait, did I not get all the the rights? Hello? I guess not? I whatever, that's fair. The Crystarium boasts a number of residential districts, but I have been informed that a room has just been, uh, been available in the pendants, which, as it turns out, is perfect. Our path there will take us past the markets, and I was hoping to give you my introduction to their wares. Come along. Alright. Oh, I should probably use that later. Music. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. All you might need to prepare for your journeys can be purchased here. Ah, yes! You must be curious about the currency. Fear not, the gill you carry will serve you well enough. Oh, thank god, I was gonna be like, what if they don't take gill? What if, what if I have to, like, convert and, like, the money that they give me is... Like, like, what if it's, like, three gill for, like, one of this world's currency? I was gonna lose my shit, dude. Uh, but it's good to hear Each that... Each nation once minted its own coins, but was all a jumbled mess following the flood. Okay. I'm glad that gill is still available, thank you. After much debate... The local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the worth of its metal. As for a unit of measurement, we agreed upon the term gill, a word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. And as our traders peddled their wares across the land, so too did our usage of gill become common practice. From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here, or near enough, not to matter. Okay, cool. Our way of life has benefited greatly from the artifacts we recovered from the tower. 
some of which may be familiar to you. Like what? Oh, oh, are those tombstones? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our character. <laughs> We're like, ah, oh, fucking damn it. But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. You shall need a means to access the commodities of your home world. A van kerm sin? What? Uh, are you there, my friend? Yes, I'm here. Of course I'm here. What amusements do you have for me today? What? Who? Huh? H Hello? My dear Feo Ool, paragon of pixie kind. For you, I have the most vital task. Her voice. This fine gentleman is a friend from a distant realm. And we have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from his home. Might you be able to assist us in this matter? You came from beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift? Yeah. How wonderfully exciting! What a brave and reckless and marvellous thing you did! You've the heart of a pixie, you do. Oh. After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. Make a pact with me and the fun can begin. But answer me this, traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? Uh, are you telling me that there was a possibility that I could have crossed over with, 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 without one of those things that you just listed? Just as I thought! Then you've a good stout connection with your home through which all your belongings, great and small, may easily pass. Oh, sweet! From this moment forth, I will be your Isnay Fis, and you my Snay Yak. Like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our bond will flow unbroken from one to the other. Aww, she called, she called us an adorable sapling! What? That's so cute! I'm good. Oh, she's our beautiful branch, and we're her adorable sapling. That's oh, that's so cute. Get you, get you a significant other who can be who can be the branch to you, huh? Raise your hand. All right. Ooh. Tis done. We are bound now, dearest sapling. Sounds great. Come, come then. Make your request. Tell me your desire. I wish to visit this world of yours. Um. Hmm. May have her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your safe arrival. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh no! Who do we send it to? The Tower War Cryl. I love them both. You can't do this! I'm having a goddamn crisis. I'm having a fucking crisis. Fucking die, dude. Um, okay. Uh, d d do I love- Oh no, this is a choice of like, who do I like more, basically. Do I like Tataru? Or Kryl? Hmm. I mean... I'm- I feel like Tataru. I feel like I should like grab But Cryo Hmm Oh you know what? I could send it to Tataru and then she'd probably tell everyone else, so yeah. Send a message to Tataru. What was that? Consider it done. That was very well timed if that was ma was a tell. That was very fucking well timed. Hold up. There she goes. As you heard, that was Feo Ool of the Pixies. Their kind possess an affinity for magic akin to that of arcane beings. They rarely show themselves in populated areas, 
But Feo is insatiably curious even by Pixie standards, and seems to have taken a liking to the Crystarium. Right, we were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. Oh my god, this place is so good. Oh, Crystarium housing when? <laughs> As a result of your pact with Feo Ol, you had now have access to delivery, moogles, market boards, and summoning bells while in the first. Oh, nice! Oh, it it was a tell from my friend. Okay. something at the FC house. I'm kind of concerned. Did I attune to this? I did. Wait, what did I not attune to then? We did the crystalline mean. What? Okay, so where is this exactly? In here? Yeah, alright. There he is. That's the boy. Ah, there you are. I was just finalizing the matter of your accommodation. You have a private room here in the pendants for, you, for the duration of your stay. Uh, to make use of it as you see fit. When you are ready to retire, the manager will show you to your lodgings. Pray rest and re uh, recuperate, and we shall reconvene at the Ocular Anon. I believe that covers all the practical concerns. My dog! Thank you for ca uh, for answering my call, Atelius. We are deny uh, denied the comforting blanket of night, but may peaceful dreams attend you nonetheless. Thank you. All right, let's talk to him. A pleasure to meet you, sir, and welcome to your new home at the Pendant. Your room is ready if you'd care to retire. Sure. We'll head in. Ooh! Yo, this is nice! And who are you, Lol? The Warrior of Darkness? I remember you. What? Did you just. You can hear me? Yeah! Oh, gods, how long has it been? I. I. That was what I called myself in your world. The Warrior of Darkness. My real name is Ardbet. I used an alias in the source. A daft one, looking back. Hmm. If you recall my tale, it was my comrades and I who caused the flood. We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Asians. 
let them guide us to the source and try to hasten their God's damned ardor. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia, how she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant, Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. Aww. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? I think it's like a... Like a hundred something years past. A hundred years. A hundred long years. find no purchase my gestures catch no eye and my pleas be they whispered or screamed reach not a single ear I am a shade cursed to do naught but drift I feel as if I've been walking forever I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges Bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. That's kind of... Hmm. That's, that's kind of fucking, like, weird. Kind of odd. Why is it that you can see me? What are you even doing here, come to that? To help... this world or something? summoned to save the first basically a waste of time this world is beyond saving like those who try to save it muddled as my mind may be I've not forgotten that but if fate has brought me to you the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me then perhaps there is a reason I endured yeah, there probably is, that's... Mm. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe... Maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Well, I'll be watching Warrior of Light. Please don't use that title, I'm gonna... But do me a favor. Be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. I can see why. Yeah, it was technically heroes that caused the flood. So I don't think anyone's gonna be like... Yeah, I don't think anyone's just gonna be like, Yeah, we love heroes! <laughs> hmm. Yep, it's still day, light. Oh well, we got a good nap. Good rest. Oh, my mama, she was all the way over there. Hello? Baby. Baby, come here. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so we need to speak with the Crystal Exarch and the Ocular now. That's probably the last thing we're going to do before I end the episode. If, if anything. Who the heck? So, we need... Fossil Gate.
Alright, let's let's go and talk to the uh, Crystal Exarch. See what he has to say about everything. See what we're gonna do. Where we're gonna go. Master Telios, the Exarch waits you within. Alright. Oh, portal to the source. Nice. Ah, how did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest? Yeah, they were nice. They were really good, actually, compared to the inns back <laughs> in, the, uh, in the source. I had a ghostly visitor. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I had a ghostly visitor. I was not aware the room was haunted, and you were rather tired. Well, should you receive another visitation, be sure to let me know. <laughs> now, let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. I'm gonna love teasing him. This is gonna be so fun. Shit's gonna be great. Ooh. Whoa. This map shows the lands of Norvrat. The only area to be spared, the Flood of Light. Ooh. The Crystarium is here, in the region known as Lakeland. Alright. To the north is the Fairy Kingdom of Il Meg. That is where you'll find Orianger. Ooh. To the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your Stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. Alas, neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. Yikes. As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins, each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystarium. Ooh. Alphino is on Calusia, an island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulmore. Where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. For his part in furthering our cause, Alphino journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. Now that's just like Alphino though, to go around, you know, gathering information and forming uh, alliances and stuff. That's just him. Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. Oh boy. In contrast to her brother, Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy, and thus she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on our foe. Alright. So, will it be Calicia or Armoreng? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Simply inform me once you have made your decision, and I will see to it that you are provided with a suitable mount. Ooh. All right. Ah, but you must be wondering about Thancred. He has taken up with a new companion and is presently engaged as a wandering hunter of Sin Eaters. Hmm, interesting. Being ever on the move, his whereabouts are often difficult to ascertain, but I am certain your paths will cross ere long. I hope so. I want to see my, my fucking boy. My only fucking boy. Alright, um... Ooh, is all this gear gonna be better than what we have? Because... Because I... Hold on. Let's just use these real quick, because we gotta... Alright. Oh my god, I have a lot of faded copies. Jesus. Alright, hold on. Alright, let us... Character, recommend gear... Nope. Alright, all those are not better than what we have. Let me just update that. But I do want to know what they look like before we end the episode. Oh! That's what they look like. Alright. 
Yeah, that's interesting. Um... set it as a home point. Whatever. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will be reunited, hopefully, with one of our friends. But which one? Well, you're gonna have to find out in the next episode. Take care. Be safe.